Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd show you how you can use tethering with NX Studio from Nikon. Tethering is when you take a USB cable and connect your camera to your computer so that you can control the camera remotely and so that uh, you can offload the image files directly to your computer. In order to do this with NX Studio, you need to download a free program called NX Tether, which is also from Nikon. And uh, you can Google where to download that, but I'll also leave a link to where you can download NX Tether in the description of the video as well. You can see this window right here. This is actually NX Tether right here. Uh, but we can also bring it up by going to File and uh, take pictures remotely with NX Tether. Or we can open each program separately. As long as you have NX Tether loaded on your program, you can use this, this button up here to call it up uh, from NX Studio. All right, so let's look at the NX Tether uh, window because that's the primary thing that we're going to be looking at because it controls all of the settings for NX Tether and how it, it uh, interacts with NX Studio. So if we go here to camera, it says enable camera controls on body. So we have that here and you'll see right here we're on aperture priority and uh, we can't change that uh, and we can't change the shutter speed because it's on aperture priority but if I turn the knob on the camera you'll see that it changes to shutter priority and um, it, it has uh, the aperture grayed out so I'm going to turn that back right now if I go up here to camera and click off enable controls I can actually change the uh, exposure mode right within this program within NX Tether uh, but you'll see once again I cannot um, control this shutter speed right here because we're on aperture priority and and that means that the camera has control of the shutter the other thing to be aware of right here is you'll see that we have uh, ISO speed right here and the ISO speed uh, we can change that if we want but we can also leave it on auto sensitivity which means the camera can change it so if the camera needs to change the sensitivity because it can't get a uh, slow enough shutter speed or it doesn't want the shutter speed to go too slow um, by leaving the auto sensitivity on uh, the camera will have control of not only the shutter speed but also the ISO at its discretion. If we click this off you'll see that our shutter speed went up to two seconds because at 100 ISO it's gone to 1.6 now. At 100 ISO it has to uh, uh, adjust the speed. It can't adjust the ISO but if we turn this back on it goes back up to one fifth of so it can adjust the ISO to whatever it wants. Uh, so next to the uh, ISO, we have the auto white balance. So you can leave it on auto, or you can do it a custom balance or a balance for a particular type of light, whatever you want. We have next we have uh, this control for exposure compensation, and this control for flash compensation and uh, then next to that we have the release mode so we right now it's in single shot mode you can also do it in continuous uh, then the really cool control on here is interval we can control the interval with this uh, which is a nice thing so we can put a number of shots that we want and the interval between the shots so if you want to do some time lapse type stuff you can use that for that we can set autofocus before each shot on or off if you want. So if you you want to set it a manual focus so the focus is always the same, uh, you can put it on that or you can allow it to do autofocus. And then we have this thing here, keep shooting until canceled. And so that's if you don't want a particular number of shots, you just want it to keep on shooting until you tell it to stop, you would use that. And then finally right here we have uh, auto exposure lock and it's off by default so you can turn that on and off if you like as well this right here will turn on and off 
the sound to the program because it will make a beep when you you uh, hit the shutter and such uh, so let's go ahead and shoot a photograph and I'm going to just hit this release button right here and you can see the little line there is it's busy busy and that was a little beep that said it's done shooting that picture like I said you can turn that off with this little speaker right here and um, so if we turn this off and we do it again it's busy and then it doesn't make the beep all right so now if we want to look at what photographs we took we can go up here to the top under favorite folders and uh, it has an X tether destination folder which is the one that's set in this program right here and uh, right here you can see I have even though I took two pictures I have four because I have the camera set so that we'll take a JPEG and a raw image so here are the photos right here and so you can actually uh, double click on any of these and we'll bring it up to full size just as you normally would to edit or you can bring it back down to look at the images as you're taking them or after you take them and uh, so that's how that actually works and so the one last uh, setting here is under tools it says keep in front and uh, so if you have that clicked on it will keep this window in front and so by default I think that's off so you may want to turn that on to keep the uh, the uh, NX tether program in front because it makes it easier uh, as you're using it if the if the window is always popping into the back all right next under tools we have mute which actually just turns this speaker on and off down here we have options which enables us to set our own uh, keyboard shortcuts and it tells us also what the keyboard shortcuts are uh, currently uh, control one will actually trip the shutter off and uh, control plus shift plus one uh, will autofocus and shoot uh, so you can have that as well so you can make some adjustments in there and here are uh, the transfer settings and uh, this will actually allow you to uh, customize how it saves the file name on the uh, file all right so that's how you use uh, tethering in NX studio I'm Dean and I'll see you next time enjoy photographing. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.